Okay, I wanted to see if I could handheld this. I'm using Nell's camera and it's heavy. It's not really vlogger friendly so I'm probably going to end up using my phone a lot which is fine because I mean, guys look at this camera. Uh, she uh, can you see? She's she's gigantic. My hands are shaking. Okay I'm gonna change to the phone. The quality is going to change. Honestly, that's so much better. Let's not mind the mess there. This room is not really complete. I have no idea what to do with this room yet. It's Vlogmas Day 2. We did it. Honestly, I was having such a hard time editing the first one last night. And I almost gave up. I kept cringing. But I did it. And now we're on day 2. And the plan is for today. My hair is kind of irritating me. I took it out. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to tie it. This looks weird. It's still a mess. But I'm going to wash my hair tomorrow. <laughs> so anyways. Um, I This morning I saw that we had a lot of leftover oranges. And I thought I could show you guys a little DIY of how I do my dried orange garlands because Nell and I are planning to pick a Christmas tree soon and my theme for Christmas decorations this year was supposed to be kind of gold and silver but now it just looks a little rustic to me so I thought okay I'm gonna fill our Christmas tree with a few dried oranges and I'm gonna show you how I do it because if I don't start now it's gonna take a long time to do because it takes around five hours to do but the outcome is amazing i never got to do this in the philippines because um it's a lot more humid there and so keeping dried oranges as decoration is a really good idea for hot tropical countries because it could attract ants and other insects and so now that i'm here and it's winter and all of and most of the insects are in hiding or dead because it's winter <laughs> i thought is the perfect time to do dried orange garlands and that is what we're gonna do
few oranges in the oven but it's nearly 8 in the evening so I thought I'd just show you the ones that I already did a few weeks ago for our other Christmas tree and so this is what it looks like I used the twine and I just made like a tiny little hole by the orange and just stuck the twine in there and roped them all together so that's what it looked like and I just wrap it around the Christmas tree so one thing to keep in mind when the oranges are in the oven is that you have to you have to set an alarm to keep going there to check on them and turn them around because the other side has to dry out too it just doesn't dry out it just one side facing up you're going to have to keep flipping them for maybe four times in the five hours that they kept it there each orange slice also dries out depending on the size so if you cut it thicker then it will take longer to dry out but if you cut it thinner then <laughs> you're gonna have to watch it otherwise it would it wouldn't burn but it would turn dark but it still looks okay the dark ones i left downstairs i should have brought it up here so i could show it to you but anyways this is what it would look like and um, completely dry you have to make sure that it is dry it doesn't feel like um it's a full orange otherwise that that would mean it's still moist in the middle and if it's still moist it could create molds after a few days so you want to make sure that it's dry and then after that you can just string it with twine or I don't know with whatever way you want to use it as decoration you can put it with in a bowl <laughs> you could do that or I also read that if you're into alcoholic drinks or you know just making cocktails or mocktails you could use these as garnish so I hope you got something out of my DIY orange garland I am excited to use all of the other oranges that I just made to put in our real christmas tree which i am excited to get to so i hope you enjoyed this video hit subscribe if i was interesting enough for you and you want to see other videos that i have in store and like this video if you learned something and there you go i'll see you tomorrow merry vlogmas